Thank you, Jesus. It's a good thing to be worshipping and praising our God and declaring His word. You know, one of the most important things is to open our mouth and say the word. Reading the word is one thing, but when you start saying it, there is life. Because the words of our mouth, it carries either life or death. And the world is always speaking words, but it's just no profit. There's just death and no profit in it. But we know as believers that we have words of life to speak. Yes. We know that the words that we speak, the promises, when we take it and we speak it out of our mouth, that we can see them coming to pass in our life. Because there's no death in God, there's only life in Him. Yes. Amen. And we're going to sing this song. It's called Never Again. And it talks about words that we should not be saying as believers. Words like, I can't, I'm weak. Because the word says the total opposite. It says when you're weak to say that you are strong. That's totally opposite to what the world would say. But we know when we speak the word out of our mouth, we're not speaking a lie. We're speaking the truth that sets us free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We welcome all of you also watching online. We're so glad that you're tuned in today. Even as we worship and praise our God and believe that God is able to do marvelous and great things in your life as you put his word to work in you. Let's believe for healings taking place right now. Even as we're singing these promises and these songs of praise that you can be healed physically in your body and you can be restored in your mind. The thoughts and the junk of the world, it can be removed as you start filling it with God's word. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's rejoice in the Lord. Father, we come before you and we thank you for this day that you've given us. We're so privileged, Lord. We're so privileged to be called your sons and daughters. And Father, when we come and enter your presence, Father, we know it's always with us. But even as we gather as a body of believers, we know that there is unity and there is strength, Father. And right now we thank you that you're working miracles, signs and wonders, even as your word is preached and even as we sing your word, Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Let's rejoice in him. Let's say these promises never again are we going to confess the wrong. But we're going to speak what the word says. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's rejoice in him. Never again will I confess the wrong. Never again will I confess I can't. For I can do all things through Christ. Never again will I confess of lack. For my
again let's purpose in our hearts that we're going to speak the promises of God and not that doubt and unbelief the world may say it's normal words to speak but according to the word of God it's doubt and unbelief we're going to choose to speak words of faith that bring life and health to our bodies so we're going to continue to praise the Lord and sing from scripture and we're going to say Lord for me to love life and see good days I'm going to speak life out of my mouth that's what it says here in 1 Peter 3.10. For he that will love life and see good days. We want to see good days. Amen. How many of you want to see good days? Amen. Amen. And our words have a lot to do with that. The words that we say out of our lips have a lot to do with the life that we live. And let's purpose in our hearts that we're going to speak and confess the promises of God out of our mouth daily. Even if it has to become a new habit in your life. Not just reading the word, but saying it out of your mouth makes all the difference. So we're going to continue singing this song on words. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And we're going to sing from scripture. And this also helps us put the word of God in our lips. Hallelujah. Amen. My 
physical body. Healing, Lord, healing, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Begin to thank the Lord for your healing. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you for the healing words that you speak out of your mouth, Lord. We bless you. We worship you, God. We honor you. Oh, with thanksgiving, we can receive all the blessings that we have. Thank you, Father. We choose to thank you for healing, Father. We thank you that you bore a heavy price to give us healing. Thank you, Lord, that you exchanged your, all the sicknesses of this world. Lord, you gave us healing. Father, we remember, Lord, we choose to remember the price that you paid for us, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. We bless you. Thank God for the price that he paid so we might receive healing. It was a divine exchange at the cross when Jesus took the curse of the world, the shame of the world, and the poverty of this world, and he gave us the blessing. And that's what we're singing all these songs of the blessing that God has given us. Let's take a hold of the healing that Jesus has given us. And you know what the word also says in Romans 6, it says that death, that if we died with Christ, we will also be raised again with him. That's what happens when we go into the waters of baptism where we see that our old nature, our old man is buried and we come out a new creation in Jesus. And now we identify ourselves no longer with the person that we used to be, but we identify our nature with the character of Jesus Christ. And when we look at ourselves now as the new man, we no longer need to see ourselves as sinners or people that, you know, are worthless or see ourselves just as the world sees us, but we are identified with Christ, which means we see all the good things that he has that we see in us. And we call ourselves the righteousness of God in Christ. When we say the word righteous, that means we are right standing with God because we are identifying with him now. The world always wants you to identify with them, but you say, no, my identity is with Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's sing this song. It's all about identity identifying ourselves with Jesus. He took away our hurt and our healing, sorry, our hurt and all our shame to give us healing. Yes. So we no longer love lying or stealing or the things of this world, but we choose to say, Lord, I'm walking in the blessing that you have given me. Hallelujah. Jesus bought me healing at the cross To free me from the curse he paid the cost He conquered principalities in the depths of hell Rose up from the grave alive and well Just a love healing, oh yes, I don't know love lying, no I don't know love stealing, but I do a love loving and talking God's covenant, oh yes, I'm seated with Jesus in the heavenly place by the stripes. Jesus, I am He. Jesus became sick to make me well. Yes, He did. He suffered every pain of sin. His precious blood was spilled. And by the stripes of Jesus, I am He. That's why I don't love her. Just a love healing. I don't know love lying. Oh no, no, I don't know love stealing. But I do a love loving and talking God's covenant. Oh yes, I'm seated with Jesus in the heavenly place. 
no dominion over him. Cause you carried my burden when you hung on that cross. The weight of the world. 
sickness and sin and poverty because you were wounded by your stripes I am healed you carried my burden oh thank you Lord and now Carried my grief, you carried my sorrow, you bore my pain and all my shame upon your shoulders, your body was broken, afflicted and wounded. But upon that tree you thought of me so I could be free. You carried my burden when you hung on that cross. The weight of the world, sickness and sin. you were wounded by your stripes I am healed you carried my burden oh yes you did Carried my grief, you carried my sorrow. Yes, you did. You bore my pain and all my shame upon your shoulder. Oh, that was so heavy. Your body was broken, afflicted and wounded. But upon that tree you thought of me so I could be free. That's what you did, Lord. You carried my burden when you hung on that cross. The weight of the world, sickness and sin.
of freedom. Thank you, Jesus. Let's never forget the price that he paid. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Just begin to worship him and let's lift our hands and say, Father, thank you for carrying it all for me. Jesus, thank you for carrying all my burdens. Oh, Father, we thank you. We never know how much it, the price it was, but we know, Lord, that the burden you carried is so that we can receive our freedom, Lord. Thank you for freedom. Thank you, Jesus, for freedom. To be free in our spirit, soul, and our body, we can be completely free in Jesus' name. He whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We still know that I am God. We still know I am God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you for caring for the price you pay. you father the greatest act of forgiveness you showed us don't hold on to that unforgiveness Jesus could forgive us forgive as the Lord forgave you some of the sicknesses and diseases are because we hold on to these things of bitterness and unforgiveness that's where the Lord says that he will not forgive us if we do not forgive and let's refuse to say I'm never gonna forgive Maybe something somebody did to you. Maybe something somebody said to you. But right now, let it go and say, Jesus, if you could forgive me and you could pay the price for me, then I'm sure that I can forgive them. Thank you, Father. Let it go. And you can be healed as a result when you let go of unforgiveness. Thank you, Father. Be healed of those illnesses right now in Jesus' name. Let go of that unforgiveness and you can be healed right now, wherever you might be watching. The Spirit of the Lord is ministering to you. We don't have to live in that long-term condition. Scripture says in Deuteronomy that to be long-term illnesses are under the curse. You can be set free today as you let go of that unforgiveness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Let's say this declaration and say, Father, I thank you for sending Jesus to take the punishment for my sin, my sickness and disease. Thank you for carrying my burdens so that I can be free. Even as I know your truth is what sets me free. I receive your truth this day that is life to my flesh healing medicine to my body thank you for the forgiveness you've shown me with the same forgiveness i choose to forgive others and walk in your love in jesus name amen let's listen to the word 